show you some things that I picked up and I've got a few little toys along the way and this just happens to be one of them it's a really really small small I mean this thing looks like a lunchbox it's it's about the size of a lunchbox and you know it works by battery it's called the Yamaha THR uh, 5A so it's it's a it's a really neat little little unit it you know you it actually has the ability for a guitar input and a microphone input and um, it's a pretty little powerful thing it's only 10 watts i mean it's not huge uh, i don't think you can go on stage with this thing but i just happened to have it mic'd to my bows and um, and right now i was just playing with some effects that's on this uh, in this case it had a delay effect and uh, <laughs> You can hear that and you can set that tempo on that effect that 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 delay by there's a little button here that has a it's a tap tempo so I can set you know the beat that I want echo effect and it's a lot of fun but anyways um, I, I, I thought I would show that to you because I said I was going to show you these things as we go along why did I buy it when I have a, a, a nice, really nice Bose amp well I, I thought it was kind of neat just to you know throw in the car real quick because it does work with um, I think it takes five AA batteries and uh, that'll last like six hours not good for the landfill, I know, but I suppose I could get some rechargeable ones. Um, but, you know, for those times that I want something that I could just play for a little while, but I, I don't have, a, you know, the ability to plug in, um, and I want it to be small so I can just easily carry it, like uh, to a family gathering or something. This will fit really well. The bows would fit too. It's, it's really good. That's small as well. It's a little bit heavier, a little bit bulkier. Um, and it does work by battery as well, but I just, I liked it. I thought it was fun, and I liked all the different effects on it. Um, uh, maybe somewhere down the line, I'll, I'll go through some of those uh, more in do more detail as to what it can do. Uh, right now, the effect I have on is, uh, of course, the, um, the delay, and I have it set up. Uh, uh, it has different mic types. So you can you can actually move in and out from dynamic to condenser to tube to nylon, and you can set it up also for an electric guitar. So it it's got a lot of features, and uh, this little light this here is just for looks. It, it isn't it isn't a tube amp. It's all modeling. It's all modeling, and it the uh, Yamaha just happens to use the electronics that they use in their high end mixers inside this little thing. So it sounds awesome. It really does. Just turn off this delay and um, there we go. And we'll turn this down just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna move this back over here so you can hear me well. And I thought today we would uh, go through a little just a, a quick lesson of a little riff that I'd like to show you. It's a it's a series of chords that I think go together well. Um, and it's using the B minor 11th chord. And uh, so I, I thought I would show that to you, teach you what these chords are, and uh, and see if it adds to your, uh, uh, your little toolbox of things that you can do on the guitar. But first I wanna remind you that tomorrow, 
that's Friday here in the United States, uh, it's, it's going to be at 6 p.m. that I'm going to get on here live and uh, we'll do a recap of, of, um, of the trip that I took, some of the stores. I'll share with you some of my favorites uh, of each store. If you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to organize it in such a way that it will be maybe useful to you. I'm not sure, but um, it, we'll we'll do something like that. And if you have questions, I, you know, certainly I'd be glad to answer those if I can. And if I can't, well, I'll figure it out and answer in another way. <laughs> All right. So um, so today I'm playing uh, my uh, Martin. This is a really neat little Martin that I have. It's an SC. Uh, 13E, and uh, these are really neat little guitars. I don't have any effects on right now. I'm just uh, have this set up as a through a condenser, and uh, it it sounds really nice. Okay, so I thought today we would talk about the B minor 11th chord. What is the B minor 11th chord? Well, let me show that to you. Um, let me see if I can move this a little bit so that you can see my guitar just a little bit better. Okay, let me move over here. All right. So what I would like for you to do for this particular chord, you're not going to be playing the low E, uh, but you will take your your pointer finger and just move over to the fifth string. We count these strings starting here as number one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So the low E is six. So we're going to go to the fifth string on the second fret and put your pointer finger. Okay. And then uh, what I want you to do is I want you to make the shape of a uh, uh, the A minor. You know, you know this shape up here, A minor. Well, you're actually going to move it up. You're going to move it up so that you're you're at the third fret with your with your uh, pointer finger, right? So we're not gonna we're not gonna do it that way. I'm just showing you the shape that's going to be there, so that it kind of gets in your head and it makes sense to you when you put this together. So you're gonna make that A minor shape with these fingers, and you're going to pick up the bass note on the fifth the the fifth fret second or the second fret fifth string see that so let me let me place the fingers again so the pointer finger is going to go on the second fret fifth string the the middle finger is going to go out in the second string and it's going to be the third fret the ring finger is going to be on the fourth string fourth fret and on the third string fourth fret, put your pinky finger. You do not play the low E. You can play the high E, but generally I just take my thumb and pick up the low note. First finger, your or your pointer finger, is going to be playing, in this case, the fourth string. Your middle finger is going to play the third string and the second string by your ring finger. See that? going to play them all together and your thumb is going to take care of the fifth string so it's going to look like that so that's kind of an awkward chord right there so if you have a hard time with it and you can't and you can't pick up that bass note and put that together you could do this just to get away with it for now you could just take and make at the third fret that A minor chord shape. You just won't have the bass note. And, and uh, what you could do is take your thumb and play the, the you just reach up and grab a third fret and play the low note. Still, it doesn't sound great. That sounds so much better, okay? But if you could get used to making that A minor shape with those three fingers, so it frees up your first finger, 
then you can place it. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. If you make that shape and your hand, the palm of your hand is touching the back of the neck like this, you'll never be able to reach over and grab that bass note. What you have to do is you've got to flex your wrist. See that? You got to move it back. You got to make it flexible. You got to relax your hand and just push it back because when you do, it'll naturally give you the ability, see that, to reach that note. Okay, so so there we have it. You got to practice it. You got to do it over and over again. Try putting down the that chord shape that looks like A minor first and then grab it by moving your wrist back. It doesn't have to be exaggerated. Just move it forward and you'll be able to grab it. Try different things. Move around. See which one grabs it the easiest for you. But flex that that wrist and that palm so that you can you can reach what you need and your thumb should not be up here shouldn't be peeking over the horizon it should be behind okay so that's called the b minor 11th chord that's probably the hardest one to do of all of these but it's a really neat chord I'm picking. Okay, now we're not going to do this for this run, but I'm just showing you that there's variations, and it's just a great chord that sometimes people don't don't pick up. Um, some people will bar and do it that way, but you know, I mean, you could do that. Some people just play the B minor, you know, by taking their pinky finger and putting it on the the high E or the first string at the second fret. Uh, I said, did I say pinky finger? I meant my the, the pointer finger. So um, so again, let's let's just do that chord one more time. Just lay down that shape. So now that we have that chord, the B minor chord, let's go to the next chord, a chord that likes that chord so much that it goes along really well with it. It's called the G5. It's almost close to the G chord itself, um, but it's not quite. So the way you're going to do this one is take your, your first finger, your pointer finger, put it on the third fret sixth string picking up that bass note and then you could either use your pinky for this or your ring finger but on the second string you want to press down the third fret okay so it's just two you see that it's just two of them they're all in the same fret see that so now what do we have let's do it from here Sounds good together, doesn't it? Can you hear that? All right, now the next chord, um, it's it's actually, a, a, it's like a D. They call it a D11th. You're not gonna play the high, uh, the high E and the low E, your first and sixth string. You don't play those. You're only playing, again, those middle strings. So your thumb and your, uh, string fingers one, uh, your fingers one, two, and three, we'll call them, will go on strings uh, four, three, and two. And the thumb will take care of uh, your fifth string. So, so in this case here, we're going to make this chord called the D11th, and it's actually the C shape. You know, the C chord, all you have to do is slide it up so that your pointer finger is at the third fret. There it is. That's called the D11th. So, all right. Okay, so let's, let's hear how that goes together now. So start with the B minor 11th. 
to the G5. You hear that? So far we're coming along. Okay, and so this last one we're going to do is an A, but I'm going to do A a little bit different. I mean, you could. You could just go right there to A and play the A chord, but instead what I'm going to have you do is something different. Just go to the fifth fret, put your uh, pointer finger on the first, uh, or the fifth fret, second string, and then on the sixth fret, third string, put your middle finger, and on the seventh fret, uh, fourth string, okay, and then what I want you to do is take your thumb, if you can do this, if you can't, don't worry about it, and then just pick up that fifth uh, string, the low note, so that now what you hear is this. I missed it. Try that again. our little riff today. You know, I'm wondering what that would sound like with this delay effect on it. Let's try it just for the fun of it. I'm going to put this thing on delay. Let me hear if I got the tap tempo okay. One. Okay, let's try that. I'm going to put this in front of this. Are you ready to give it a try? mistake and you're using a delay it multiplies that mistake a million times like I just did <laughs> but it's a lot of fun So there you have it, a little fun. And um, also wanted to share with you my new little toy here. It's a lot of fun too. So let's end it there. And um, let me move this mic back so you can hear me okay. And I gotta remind you one more time, tomorrow is the live, six o'clock. I'll be there, I hope you'll be there. And uh, we should have a lot of fun. We'll, we'll give it a try. I'll, I'll think of some things that we can talk about, but we'll definitely spend some time talking about this last trip that I took. All the wonderful guitars, all the wonderful people. And uh, okay, so we're going to leave it right there. And I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are in this world.